Okay, Elise, I want to know what you know about a book, okay? Okay, can you tell me or point for me where the front cover of the book is? Good job. Can you point to the back cover? Show me where the back cover of it is. Excellent job. Can you turn the book back over? Can you point to the title of the book? Oh, nice job. Can you point to the author in the story? Nice job. Now, we're going to open the story. And if I were going to start reading the story, where would I start reading on the page? Good job. Can you point to a letter that you know in the story? Good. Good job. Can you point to a word? Show me a word in the book. Good job. Can you show me a space between the words? Good job. Okay. You did excellent. High five. Good job. Are you ready for something else? Okay, let's do our letters. Are you ready? Okay, I need you to scoot up. There we go. I want you to be able to see the letters. Okay, I'm going to ask you to tell me the letters that you know. If you know the letter, tell me what it is. If you don't let know the letter, it's not a big deal. It's okay. Just say, I don't know. Okay? And we'll keep going. Here we go. What's that letter? A. Good job. What's that letter? B. Good job. What's that letter? C. Good job. D. Okay. Uh, F. Good job. What R. Good job. K. Good job. W. Good job. This X. one? Good job. Y. Okay. D. Good job. Good job. What about this one? E. Good job. F. Good job. Y. Mm -hmm. S. Good job. Q. Mm -hmm. T. Good job. R. V. Good job. K. Good job. P. Good job. A. R. Good job. And two more. P. Mm -hmm. R. Good job. You did great. Now see, wasn't that easy? High five. Good job, Elise. Thank you so much. Taking a test should not be a stressful activity for your students. They should come to a testing situation well prepared and ready to show you everything they know about the assessment. Here are some tips to help you when assessing your students. One, think about your classroom environment. Are you prepared? Do you have materials such as pens and paper ready? And how knowledgeable are you about the assessment? Also, do your children know your expectations? Do they know what to do when they finish the assessment? Or, if you're testing on a one-on-one -on -one situation, do they know what to do as to not interfere with that testing environment? Also, look at each individual child. If someone's not feeling well that day, stop the assessment and do it on another day. We want them at their personal best, not their personal worst. Take these test-taking tips, and I hope they prove to be beneficial for you in the classroom. Good luck.